Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be talking about something that I never thought I'd be able to have the opportunity to do ever. And that is cover new Yes content. On July 7th, Yes on their Instagram page posted about being releasing a new album on October 1st called The Quest. Uh, and I was very excited about this and saved this post. And I'll put this on screen right now. Uh, and I was so hype and, and going to pre-order it as soon as I could, as they said on July 23rd. And on July 23rd, they released a single from this album called The Ice Bridge. And as soon as I saw that, I knew that I had to make a video on it. And I know it has been a while since I uploaded a video, uh, but I'm very excited to be back and doing more and being able to do more in the future, which I will cover at the end of this video with a little update. But I'm going to go and, uh, and analyze this song. I listened to it for... God, I don't know, almost a half hour on end. It's a seven minute track. There's a little preview to what they'll be doing on the quest. Uh, and I listen to it a lot and I have uh, formed somewhat of an opinion to be able to share my thoughts with you. And I'm very excited to do that. So as I said, it's a seven minute track and kind of out there to catch our interest for this album. And I am definitely interested. Uh, it is not the most fantastic song in the entire world. I'm not going to sit here and preach about how oh, this is a new generation of yes, that I'm so excited to... But... um. It was definitely better than Heaven Earth, Heaven and Earth, their 2014 album, uh, though it's not hard to do. I'm glad to see that they're kind of in an upswing and have some have some good ideas coming out of this. And I'm very excited to see what else is going to be on the album. And now before I get into the, the true analysis, I do want to say that I'm not going to be comparing this makeup of Yes to maybe their peak in the 70s or again in the late 90s, early 2000s of some of their amazing tracks and amazing albums. I want to treat this as their own separate little... Um, just their own little time frame, and I want to be able to analyze it as a standalone group. I don't want to, I don't want to bring them down because they aren't as good as the as the makeup on Relayer or the Yes album. So that's the way I'm going to be looking at this, very open minded and objectively. I'm going to go over each of the parts individually, starting with vocals, something very important to me. Uh, and John Davidson did well. I do think it lacked a bit. Uh, it didn't have the power that I was expecting from him and that I was hoping. Uh, it was all kind of very uh, samey. And that is kind of a theme throughout this entire uh, track. So I'm not going to try and beat that too hard right now as I talk about that later. The vocals were good, uh, but I was hoping for a little bit more and hoping to see more on the album. Speaking of things I want to hear more on the album, Steve Howe. I think that there were some good guitar licks. There was some good stuff in there, and you could tell that they were working hard, and I could tell that he was writing some really good stuff on this track. But I'm really hoping to hear more, and I'm hoping to hear a more guitar-heavy track come out in the future. Uh, but the, one that the, the part that surprised me the most was the bass, and I think it's Jeff Downs on bass. I forget when he started in Yes, because he's been on and off. I think it was on 90125 or Drama. I think maybe it was Drama. Uh, I'll put that on screen as I double check that. Uh, but he was playing bass on this and it's really amazing. There was a killer bass line. Though so whoever mixed it uh, kind of hid the bass deep in there, uh, unlike some previous Yes albums. It, it was really, really good and I enjoyed what I heard and I'm excited to hear more. That's basically the gist. Is I, 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 like, I kind of like the direction of stuff that I'm hearing and I cannot wait to hear more, uh, especially with this bass. The one real downside, as of so far, there was nothing but good. It, it was it was solid, nothing too fantastic, but nothing that was bad stuff that I like to hear uh, and, and hoping to hear developed in the future. But the one thing that I had a problem with was the synths. And usually I'm not a stickler for synths. I'm totally okay with it tastefully put in, especially in progressive rock music where it definitely has a place. Except in this track, they kind of... The way I'm going to describe it is very 90s to me. It kind of took away from it because it sounded like they were cheaping out. They were trying to have, I assume, synthesized horns or a brass section. But it sounded, it sounded kind of cheap. It sounded kind of like a, a 90s pop song when they try and put that fake instrument because it's this new technology and they're going to kind of show off the new stuff that they can do with technology. But that's not the case nowadays. Uh, there's better synths out there and you could even hire a, a musician to do it for you to have an actual horn or brass section. So... When it got to that part, I just kind of gritted my teeth and, and bared it. It was fine. It was. It wasn't. It didn't kill the track for me. Absolutely, it did not kill it, but it definitely took away from it slightly. Uh, so it was fine enough, and I'm hoping I don't hear a lot more of that on the rest of the album. But uh, on this track, it was pretty good. Dynamically, this song was very samey. For me, what I love about progressive rock music is that there's 
big waves of dynamics, being able to have that large forte and the large sound down to the pianos and being able to draw you in with a nice, beautiful melodic line. Like, yes, this is very known for doing and very good at doing. Uh, but this, whoever mixed it, uh, not only hid the bass, but also mixed it to be kind of samey, kind of just one flat line of, of mezzo forte or like a medium sound the whole way through, which isn't bad, but that's what I expect from pop music, not from progressive rock music. And especially with new technology being fantastic in the music industry, I was hoping that they could do a little bit more. So in total, I don't think this track was bad. It was a good introduction to what we could be seeing on the quest. And I'm very excited personally to be able to review it and share it with you guys when it comes out October 1st. Uh, but the Ice Bridge, this single, it was solid. It piqued my interest and you know, they did exactly what it wanted to do. It got me excited for this album and I'm excited to see where they're going to go with this. So yeah, that's kind of, those are my thoughts on this album. And now, uh, if you want to stick around, I'm going to just be sharing an update about this channel and kind of where I'm going with this. Uh, basically, I'm going to be able to do more videos soon. I've been doing a lot this summer and lots of prep for lots of things for the channel and for my life in general. Uh, so I'm going to be able to do a lot more upcoming, especially with new Yes content coming out. You will, I will not miss that. Uh, I'm hoping I'll be able to put out some kind of a travel vlog out soon. I... Um, have a lot of footage compiled from vacations and stuff I've been doing this summer and hopefully I can do kind of a travel vlog of stuff uh, and I'm really excited about that so stay tuned with the channel there's a lot of stuff going to be happening and I thank you for sticking with me for this almost two month hiatus uh, but there's a lot of new content that's exciting me and I'm really pumped to get recording again I love sitting back in my chair and being right in front of this camera talking to you so thank you so much for checking out this video it's a bit of a short one bit of short and sweet before we get into the large content um, so thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe and share this channel again. And if you have, thank you so much. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.